Hey all, Turtle here coming at you with another Pokemon video. This is going to be episode one of a new series, which until we come up with a better name is going to be called I Want a Bundle or I Want a Bargain. Oops. And uh, as you can see, we have two of the Tag Team Powers collections and we've opened up these before and kind of like when we did a review, we came to the determination of, you know what, this is a pretty good product. You get a lot of cool promos and a good number of packs, but for the cost, which MSRP is $50, you know, it's kind of like if you like the promos, just get one and then you're all set. But this is the bargain series, so we'll get into details about how much we paid for and how much you can still pick this up today. But uh, first, let's open up both of these boxes and get all the promos and packs out. All right, so Mystical Games and Collectibles is where we pick this up from. You can check out their eBay store. They have a sale for these. You can pick up both of them for $64. And if you do buy a certain number, I think it's down to 60 So basically $30 a box which is from MSRP 40% off. So I do think this is a pretty good deal at that price point. And if you held off on purchasing them because you didn't like the price point, definitely check out that uh, their, their listing. I'll put a link down below. And here are the two jumbo cards and this is all the stuff you get in there. You get three additional promos that they only actually show on the front of the box. And then the Car Costa Eevee and the Espeon Deoxys as well as the Darkrai Umbreon tag teams. And then a whole stack of packs as well. So once again, uh, I do think this is a good buy and a good candidate for our first episode of I Want a Bargain. And here we go into the Evolution Packs. Start with these and then go basically in chronological order. And for our first pack, as you can see we're trying a new setup for our opening. So I have to look to the side to look at the camera. It's a little awkward at first but we'll see if we can get used to it. First pack we have just Electabuzz and Dugong. It's a very, uh, from the side it looked like we would have had something. I was expecting, I thought we were going to pull a break. Just from uh, the look on the side of the, the cards. Alright, second pack. We hope everyone's having a good day. And uh, yeah, if you can hear the wind, it is super, <laughs> super windy. It's like howling. And a Hitmonchan. Picked up a couple of these from base set not too long ago. From Troll and Toad. Always uh, kind of pleasantly surprised. You can find some good deals on their website, and actually that in TCG players just as well. But uh, OG base set guys, if uh, you don't have a base set like a the complete set just for like a binder collection, I do think that that is something that every collector should have. And I think it's with exception of the Charizard, of course. I think the whole set is more obtainable. Um, price-wise than you might think. Wow, Masquerain. Don't think that's a good card. All right, second pack of Sun and Moon base. We are kind of getting through the, <laughs> I'm gonna call it fodder. That's a bit, probably a little over the top, but getting to the good pack, Sword and Shield and Cosmic Eclipse. Those are the ones that will be in standard rotation. Post rotation. And then Incineroar. All right, on to Celestial Storm. There's some good stuff we can find in here. Still have yet to get anything good. But as always, you know, there's obviously the difference between a good box with good packs inside and just a good deal. And I would say that this was a kind of like a good value buy. Wismer and then a Grumpig. Especially for a product that, you know, I was actually a fan of before this sale. And I think for when I pre-ordered them, it was like maybe 25% off for pre-order. So this is a significantly better at 40% off. Alright, still waiting for our first hit. Love Disc, Trico, Skitty, Larvitar, and then a Regirock. Oh man. Alright, these... These boxes specifically may not have been a good bargain, but hopefully we can turn that around. All right, spell tag, useful card. Wait and see, hammer. Starting to see this a lot to kind of offset those ADPs. If you're going second, kind of like just time walk them, kind of negate their turn, and it's really nice when you can hit their water energy off their ADP. <clears throat> Sometimes 
All right, sorry about that. I was choking, uh, choked on my on the air. But uh, yeah, if you pull off that wait and see hammer on an ADP, that can be really bad. Uh, electro power, nice. <clears throat> Meryl. Ooh, a reverse wait and see hammer. And then a beauty fly. Okay, now we're getting on to the good stuff. We have uh, basically eight packs remaining. So far we got nothing, but this is the sets that we actually want the hits in most of all. So let's go with, we are just biding our time and waiting for the moment to get some good cards. We got a gold duck. Will. Ooh, Mimikyu. Oh, wrong Mimikyu. Drillbur, Atangula, Flabebe, and... Oh my gosh, yes! Alright, now this is a good box. And we got the Full Arts, or the Rainbow Rare Reshiram. Uh, and this is the, kind of like the alternate art, which I think, actually, there, there's no non-alternate art one. But, actually, it's kind of weird. Uh, obviously, this is max rarity. I'm super happy to have pulled this. But I think I prefer the just the alternate art better, just because it's e better to appreciate this. You can kind of see what's going on in the picture, but the rainbow kind of washes out a lot of the the art. So home run hit right there. I'm actually gonna grab a penny sleeve, as maybe this is a card we'll eventually send off to PSA one day once they get up and running. But monster hit right there. Not sure what those are going for right now, but. Actually, there for a little bit, Reshiram got popular for like a week. Probably to the likes of Tricky Jim and Azul or, and others doing videos. But huge hit right there, Tag Ball, nice. And there, Corbominable, and then an Entei. Alright, two more Cosmic Eclipse. But that definitely made up, at least in my opinion, made up for all those other packs being complete duds. Caitlyn Cynthia, very nice. Draw energy. There's a new card in Rebel Clash. The was it speed energy? Basically, it provides lightning energy for uh, lightning energy. But then, if you attach it to lightning Pokemon, you draw two cards. Which compared to draw energy, just blows out of the water. We got Magnemite, the character rare. It's been a while since we pulled one of these. And then a Sunflora. We'll grab a sleeve for this guy. Okay. All right, last Cosmic Eclipse. Wait, if you, I think I, as of time of filming this, this deal is still available. So definitely check out the link below. But if you don't want to miss good deals like this, definitely I recommend you subscribe to the subreddit, Pokemon TCG Deals. And if not, you can also follow, join our Discord link down below. And there is a channel where I just post deals that I find almost usually just from that subreddit. So if you're not, you don't really browse Reddit, that's another way you can do that. All right, on to Sword and Shield. Lucky Egg. Hulu Shelter, Krogunk, Hutoot, and then a Gengar. Gengar with a really cool ability, move damage between your Psychic Pokemon. All right, let's get one hit from this. One awesome hit from Cosmic Eclipse, check. Now let's get one awesome hit from Sword and Shield Base. We are hoping to do some Rebel Clash before the official release on Friday. Really excited for this set. Ooh, Reverse Obstagoon, not bad. Then a Dreadnought. All right, two packs remaining. Ordinary Rod, Beady. Ah, I pulled so many. I think we pulled like two Full Art Beaties and then two Rainbow Rare Beaties. Not the supporter we want from this set. More Peko. Okay, last pack. If we whiff here, um, I'm still, I'm really happy to pull this 
Rainbow Rare Reshiram, but you know, definitely the hit ratio was pretty bad on these boxes. All right, last pack. Hop. All right, Grookey. Uh, that it really booms the one I want to play in Rebel Clash. A Lumberry Reverse, and then an Intellion with Shady Dealings. Not a bad card, but not the one we we're looking for. So, out of, what, 12 packs, we did get one really good hit, which we will take. Looks like it's in very good condition as well. Maybe send us off to PSA. But, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the first episode of I Want a Bargain. If you have a better name for this series, let me know in a comment down below. Check out the deal if you're interested. Again, uh, if, you, if you buy a bunch of them, it's 40 Otherwise, I think it's like 64 which comes out to $32 a box for it, which is much better compared to the $50 MSRP. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for us today. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.